Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, it wouldn't be Florida without this. A heavy tropical rainstorm coming down just prior to kickoff here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, the streak continues, doesn't it? They come in here a perfect 11-0. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. Go, go. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Snell. Murray with a third and long. Dancing to his left. And that will be incomplete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Recon, 152 fighter. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. First carry for Darius Geis. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Number 53, Mike 53. Hey, watch the slack. On third down, Whitfield. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me, that's the magic number. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw, it's Murray. And that is incomplete. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. If you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, of course, the incompletion. He had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Defense. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Pretty solid run here on first down, and it'll be second and very short. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Geis with a carry on second down. When you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because that he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. They gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. 
they don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the 27, Murray buying time to his left. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Murray now to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely love. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. He's going to take off with it. Murray has the first down and more. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 23 yards on the tuck and run. I was surprised when he took off. I thought, oh, he's got some space. He might pick up five, six, seven yards. He goes home. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing to start the drive. Whitfield trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. To throw again. Whitfield. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. Back to throw. Whitfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position. Led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. On second down, here's Murray. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. Back-to-back <laughs> -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Murray. Flushed out right. Going right side here, and that's complete. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray steps away to his... Oh, now Murray has it stripped, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. It's a foot race. He's at the 30. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Starting the drive with Snell. And he powers his way up past the 30. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, Bond. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. They'll run with Geis. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Hey, hey, hey. 
Operating from the gun. Whitfield. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Geis. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. The throw over the middle taken in. First down Tampa Bay there. A gain of 13. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. And he's got about five yards. They have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. To throw on second down. Whitfield. That's caught by Howard. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. From the gun on third down. Whitfield. Washington's got it. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. So offensively on this drive, two of two on third downs. And now they face a third and inches. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And his pass incomplete. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. Offense. They seem to have gone off tendency. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. From the gun, Jones. Now he lets it. They've got his man complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Christian Kirk, 79 yards. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. Taking it right down Broadway. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score. A fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation. Under pressure, they got him again. Von Miller in there yet again. What else is new? He continues to rewrite the record book in single-season sacks. I see an all-out rush like that. I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Looking to throw. Whitfield, he's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 30. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you cross state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy sun. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. As corners in the league, we're usually saying shut down corners. Guys, you can't complete passes against. Richard Sherman fits that definition to a T. The best part of his game, no wasted moves. He studies the opponent so well, hard, hard, hard to get a pass on Richard Sherman. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag Holding on the field, offense. and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Kill, kill, kill. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Now Jones. He'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Jones now four of five since coming on. It's first and ten. Jones now from the gun, he'll throw. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Jones heading up here first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. Jones operating from the gun, being chased out left. Now he'll throw deep left side, and that is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing Jones. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones, and that will be incomplete. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Back to throw, Whitfield, and this is caught by Evans. To throw on third down, Whitfield. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Airing this one up. That's caught at the 25. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. It's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler, first-round pick back in 2012. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Space to maneuver at the 40. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second down and inches. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, they're standing by as Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start up in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle where it was the visiting Niners who are able to come away with the road victory. Dante Pettis leading the way with three touchdown catches. Next, we head off to check out another game. And in that one, it's the visiting Giants who have the lead. Sterling Shepard 
a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. Albert Wilson, a touchdown reception. Saying the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. Throwing on third and long. Whitfield. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Vita Vea able to record his fifth sack of the season. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense. To throw on second and six, Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. down Whitfield he completes it to Evans that throw good for four it's second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six second and six quick hitter here it's complete off play action Whitfield to the goal line, but it's incomplete. And the safeties have less ground to cover. You would better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Throwing on third and long. Whitfield. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. The kick by Gold is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Looking to throw. Jones. And nowhere to fit that football in. Well, who's going on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. It's a defensive end getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game. Now Jones on third and two. And able to find Kirk complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. Now a second down throw for the end zone. It's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And last time, able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second and two. Personal foul, face mask. 
defense. That would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Off the play fake. Whitfield airing this one out for Evans. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll make it a second down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. On third down, Whitfield. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Miles Boykin with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys have cut the lead down to two. From the gun, Whitfield goes right side. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. <laughs> Throwing on second and eight, Jones. Now he's flushed out left. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. The Cardinals on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. Dancing to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run on first down. Bond. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. They'll keep it on the ground. Bond. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. On second down, it's Snell. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, Bond trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Second and 10. Rolling to his right. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And that's caught left side. Seals Jones with it. So they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Off play action. Whitfield, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Second and 14. Able to find his running back, Geis. The Bucks on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time, it's third and three. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. But he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun. Whitfield. Open man is Howard, the tight end. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Throwing on first down. Whitfield 
And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Back to throw. Whitfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Charles, you said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but... This offense, just a little too good. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll run with Snell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Jones now on first down. Open man is Kirk complete. Oh no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. We're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. The bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Mike Evans, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. They'll run on first down. Bond coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second and five now. Jones buying time to his left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Jones throwing on fourth down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. 53, Mike 53. They'll run it now out of the gun. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He finds his target. It's Evans. Got an open man. It's Washington. And Gold is able to put it through. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by seven. And time, a huge factor. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Back to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. First down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 37. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Josh Adams, the running back, his intended receiver. And it's third down. Now Jones. He's going to let it fly. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Come on, QB, come on. Hey, high seven. On fourth down, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Victory formation now for the ball. So time has run out. And they have a victory. And they have a victory.